Good afternoon. Welcome to the Daily Office. And thanks for joining me. This is evening prayer for Thursday, March 30th. It's the fourth week in Lent and week six in our psalm cycle. And the scripture for this service, Psalm 105, verse 23 to 36. And John chapter 6, verse 41 to 51. Now please join me in singing the second verse of the paraphrase of Psalm 100 by Isaac Watts to the tune of Old 100. Nations attend before God's throne With solemn fear, with sacred joy Know that our God is God can create and can destroy. O oh God, come to my assistance, make haste to help thee. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Israel came into Egypt, and Jacob's tribe sojourned in the land of Ham. Psalm 105, and please recite it with me. Israel came into Egypt, and Jacob's tribe sojourned into the land of Ham. And you, O God, increased your people greatly, and made them stronger than their enemies, whose hearts you turned to hate your people, to deal deceitfully with your servants. And you sent Moses, your servant, and Aaron, whom you had chosen. They showed your signs among them and wonders in the land of Ham. And you sent darkness and made it dark, but Egypt rebelled against your word. You turned their waters into blood, and you slew their fish. Their land brought forth frogs in abundance in the chambers of their rulers. You spoke, and there came swarms of flies and gnats in all their coasts. And you gave them hail for rain and flaming fire in their land. You struck their vines and their fig trees. You broke the trees of their borders. You spoke and the locusts came, and caterpillars without number, who did eat up every blade of grass in their land, and devoured the fruit of their fields. And you struck all the firstborn in their land, the first fruits of all their strength. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Israel came into Egypt, and Jacob's tribe sojourned in the land of Ham. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John, chapter 6, beginning at verse 41. Then the Jews began to complain about him, because he said, I am the bread that came down from heaven. They were saying, Is not this Jesus, the son of Joseph, whose father and mother we know? How can he now say, I have come down from heaven? And Jesus answered them, Do not complain among yourselves. No one can come to me unless drawn by the Father who sent me and I will raise that person up on the last day. It is written in the prophets, and they shall all be taught by God. Everyone who has heard and learned from the Father comes to me. Not that anyone has seen the Father except the one who is from God. He has seen the Father. Very truly, I tell you, whoever believes has eternal life. I am the bread of life. Your ancestors ate the manna in the wilderness, and they died. This is the bread that comes down from heaven, so that one may eat of it and not die. I am the living bread that came down from heaven. Whoever eats of this bread will live forever, and the bread that I will give for the life of the world is my flesh. Here ends the lesson. Make us a righteous nation that keeps your truth, that we may glory in your judgment. Let your way be known upon the earth, your saving help among all nations. 
for the Mercy of God community on retreat this weekend and for all of your intentions. And now in the words our Savior taught us, we're bold to say, Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. O Liberator and Savior, O God of hosts, may we never forget your mighty deeds and always seek your face. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We trust in the mercy of God forever. And may the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen.